I don't even know where to begin, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's just start from the last video that I posted. If you haven't seen it, go down in the description. I will link it. But let's just do like a little rewind real quick. I spent time praying, thinking, watching the dolphins, and just refocusing on my desire to find the apartment and the city that I wanted to live in. And I started to think about an area that I kept driving by called Quail Canyon. It was close by and I thought, you know what, let me just see if there are apartments around that area. And sure enough, I drove through the canyon and guys, I found the apartment. That's right, this is the apartment. By the end of that trip, I was certain that God was moving me to California. I just didn't know uh, when or how. I was even pretty confident that I knew the general area that I would wind up in, even down to the apartment that I really wanted to be in. I mean, you guys saw all of that. There's no need to rehash it, but a lot has happened in three months. It's now June and so much has happened that I just, I really don't know where to begin. So I'll begin with this. When I came home from that trip, I started sending out applications to jobs like crazy, but I only applied to jobs specifically in that little bitty radius of Irvine. I submitted, no lie, no exaggeration, I submitted over 60 job applications after returning home from that trip in California. And I don't want this to come off in the wrong way. I, I'm only going to say it to preface what I'll say next. But in my 11 plus years as a registered nurse, I've never really been turned down for a job. Like I see a job, I apply for it, I interview for it, and for the most part, I get it. So this whole process of just like rejection after rejection, I mean, honestly, I really didn't even get callbacks. I didn't really get any second looks from those job applications. And after 60 times of that happening, probably around mid-May, I started to second guess. All right, clearly this is not meant to be this is not the right timing. While I still feel very strongly that I'm meant to be out in California for whatever reason, this just isn't the right time. And so I started to get a little bit discouraged in the sense that I was prepping myself that this move would not happen this summer. And then that is the week that my Nana uh, had a, a stroke. And for me, that was a wake up call of you know, just how gracious God is. I mean, he clearly knew that was gonna happen. He knew that I needed some extra time at home with family and to just process what it will truly mean to uproot and move away from my family and to be so far away when emergencies happened. And so I took several weeks to just process and it sounds dramatic, but I think I went through a grieving process of man, here's this emergency happening with my Nana. I don't really know what the outcome is going to be, but I know that God kept me here a little bit longer for that reason and also showed me that, you know, whether I'm here or whether I'm there, emergencies can happen at any time. And I just had to process kind of my thoughts on the reality of being far from home and away from family when when you know tragedy happens or difficulties happen now thankfully my nana is doing amazing she's back home she's recovering really well but that was a really really tough couple of weeks of just this it was like this inner wrestling happening in my mind of do i stay or do i go and I'm so thankful that earlier this year in January, I took the whole month to fast, to meditate, to seek wise counsel, to hear from the Lord um, in scripture. 
And all of that, I believe, prepared my mental state for this few weeks that I'm, I'm referring to after my Nana um, had her stroke. And there were really two main uh, scriptures that I had memorized way back in January that just kept coming to mind. And the first one is in Proverbs 3, uh, 5 through 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And then the second one uh, is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, which says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. Those were just imprinted on my heart way back from January. And in these few weeks where I was wrestling and doubting and just struggling and confused, those continued to pop up. And I knew it was the Lord being super sweet to me and just reminding me like, hey, you know, I, I am the one that prompted you to move. I'm the one that's leading you out there. And yes, it's gonna be full of challenges, but you don't have to be afraid. And I talk way more about this in my blog. So hopefully um, you guys will check it out because it really kind of dives a bit deeper in different ways that he spoke to me during those few weeks. But um, so then fast forward to the week we're in right now. This is the second week of June and on uh, Monday, earlier this week, today is Friday, on Monday, I received a call about an application that I had submitted way, way, way back. I had honestly forgotten about it. And the uh, HR wanted to set up a uh, interview with me. So I ended up interviewing twice that same day with two different hiring managers. The interviews were only supposed to last an hour and they lasted uh, about an hour and a half. And they went amazing. I felt really, really connected to the hiring managers. And after that interview, they offered me a job of a home health nurse. I've never done home health nursing before. I do work with students who have home health nurses. So I have been around the environment, but it is not something that I have ever looked into up until now. Um, it's not really something that I necessarily saw myself doing, at least in the past. But the more I looked at job options, because I've number one, been out of the hospital setting for going on like six years now, and then two, because I'm not out in California yet, I'm still in Texas, those two things were kind of hurting me in the job market. And so I had to have a little heart to heart with myself and realize, okay, like you, you can't be too picky as to what you accept to get out there initially. But then the more I started thinking about it, you know, a few things that I had specifically prayed for in terms of career were, you know, lead me to a job that has good work-life balance lead me to a job that, you know, will provide for me financially and uh, lead me to a job that will allow me room to grow. And that's really all I prayed for. I didn't pray for like a specific type of job. Um, I just kind of left it up, you know, to God to guide me in the right direction. So everything was just easy from the very first call about this job. And the offer that they made me exceeded what I expected. There's a sign-on bonus with it. Um, I work Monday through Friday, um, maximum eight-hour shifts, but I can potentially be finished before that eight-hour mark. And just the idea of getting like one-on-one -on -one time with patients is really cool. That's not something I've really ever had. And so the more I started thinking about it, the more I became interested in that role. And so I took a few days to just think about it, pray about it, talk to some people about it. And then yesterday I accepted. What's interesting is up until this job, I really only was focused on interviewing and, and sending applications in for the Irvine area, which is in more South Orange County. But this job would be more North Orange County, 
And what's cool about that is right now, the friends that I already have in California all live right there around where this job is gonna be based. So pretty much all my patients that I'll drive and see every day are like right there where all of my friends are. And so I started thinking about, you know, maybe maybe that's God's way of, of protecting me because in my mind, Irvine was the perfect setting because it was close to the beach. It's very like social. There's lots of activities to do. There's a lot of young people. Um, I think he knows that, you know, that first six months to a year, I'm going to be going through a lot of transitions as I'm uprooting, leaving my family, leaving my community here, starting a totally new career path. And so I just started trusting that, you know, out of all of these closed doors, not only was this door opening, but everything was just so easy about it. And it just started making sense. And so the more I thought about, okay, well, I would already at least have people that I know fairly well that can help me transition while I continue to like grow my community out there. So I felt really good about accepting it, even though it did look pretty different from what I initially intended. And so then once I accepted it, uh, then I had to start thinking about, okay, well, crap, because back in March, I really only looked at apartments around Irvine and south of Irvine. It didn't even click with me that maybe I should check out some apartments north of that area just in case. So thankfully, I had a few friends check on a few apartments for me that I looked up online. And I found one that is going to be a great starter place um, for my first year out there. It will be minutes within um, friends and it will be like right in the hub where all my patients are gonna be. It's, it is farther away from the beach by about 30 minutes. But at the same time, it puts me right in the mountains. I will have amazing hiking trails, literally minutes from my apartment. And you know, on weekends or when it's not traffic hour, I can get to the beach in less than 45 minutes. So really, I can't complain. So I accepted the job yesterday and I put down my application and deposit on the apartment. And then came the hard part of like starting to tell friends and family. So by the time this video is public, I will have already told, you know, people at my work, my boss, uh, my, my friends, my family, my church community. But today, less than like 24 hours of all of this unfolding. I've already told almost all of my, my immediate family, um, both of my different community groups where I worship and um, a couple of my coworkers. What I am absolutely dreading is telling my boss and the principal that I work under. I know they're gonna be amazing. It's all in my head, y'all. Like I just, I hate disappointing people and I hate the idea of someone feeling like I'm abandoning them. And I know that is not at all how they're going to take it, but there is obviously this anxiety in me of like, I don't know, just telling them like, hey, you know, this is my notice. I'm not gonna be back next school year. I just think about, um, you know, all the people I won't get to say goodbye to, especially my students and their families and different coworkers. And so that's been really emotional, more emotional than I anticipated. But overall, I am so excited. I am very confident that this has all worked out exactly how it was supposed to work out at exactly the right timing. And I, I do trust the process. With that said, emotionally, I've been all over the place. Like there are some hours in the day where I'm way up here and I'm just super pumped and can't wait and ready to leave like today if I could. And then literally in the next hour, I'm like way down here, ugly snot crying, thinking about all the people and things that I'm leaving. So, I, you know, that's expected. I knew that was gonna happen. I think that's normal. And, and even with all of that said, my overall thought is this is right. And this is something that I 
am being called to do and I feel good about it. I feel good about the decision and I'm at peace. And so I'm very thankful for that. And I think given that this process started way back in December uh, has helped because I've kind of processed things in waves. But now that reality is here, I'm realizing I have four weeks left here, which is terrifying because I have so much to do. So right now I'm in the process of organizing everything for a big garage sale. I'm gonna try to sell as much stuff as I possibly can. I am in the process of getting like doctor's visits. Uh, today I took um, Mila, my dog, to the vet just to get all of her, her yearly shots and checkup and everything. Um, I am having to get a ball and hitch attached to my truck so that I can pull a U-Haul trailer. I mean, if any of you have moved before, you know that the list of to-dos is just crazy long. And then add in the layer of moving cross country, um, making sure my California license is all good and up to speed. Um, also doing like all of the requirements for this new job. It's just a lot. And so, you know, I think it's going to be a blur. And my goal for the next four weeks is to be as present as I possibly can anytime that I'm around friends or family and to just savor every moment. My hope is that whenever I get out to California and I get settled in, I know reality is gonna sink in and there's probably gonna be moments where I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> this is the biggest regret of my life. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that moment is gonna happen once all the dust settles and I'm just there in my new life. But I think having intentional time in the next few weeks is going to help help me mentally process um, transitioning to a new place. And thank God all of my friends and family that I've talked to so far have just been so encouraging and just so validating. I mean, they've been on this journey with me since December. So it's not like it's a complete shock to my close friends and family. Um, it will be a complete shock to my coworkers. So that that part is hard and I'm, I'm having to just kind of go through those emotions and thoughts as they come. So yeah, for the next video, you're going to see my garage sale. You're going to see my last Texas farmer's market for my business, Love You Sunshine, which you can find at loveyousunshine.com. Uh, you'll see uh, hopefully the process of me packing and loading up and moving across country. So I'm, I'm really excited to bring you guys along with all of this. And, you know, I really don't know what to expect from this channel or becoming the local or a blog. You know, it may only last uh, a couple months. It may only last my first year. I really don't know um, the longevity of it all. But what I do know is that already talking about these things in video form, writing about them in the blog is not only therapeutic for what I'm going through in the moment, but it makes me really excited to have this outlet in those first few weeks and months and, and even the first year of being in a new community and literally becoming the local of a totally new environment. and. I'm just so appreciative for any of you who follow along. Hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully you will get a sense of adventure and just the beauty of California and the amazing people out there and all that the state has to offer. And I also want to be you know, pretty candid about what the process of moving cross country, uprooting your whole life and kind of following like this internal prompting um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and stay along with me on the process for however long that it lasts. If nothing else, this is going to be a great journal for me uprooting and relocating to California.
and consider this your official invitation to becoming the local.